safe area. Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Alert today for September 4th, the series that shows you the Target Alert map, farming tips and tricks, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider smashing the subscribe and like buttons below, and check the video description for all named gear and weapon spreadsheets. Also, check out the pinned comment section below for the Discord link, how to join the clan, Shadow Crew on PC, Xbox, and PS4, and the channel memberships. Also, the PTS for TU11 starts at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will try to live stream this for an hour or two. Either way, I'll be making videos all weekend on Summit and all the new weapons, gear, and exotics. Thanks, agents. All right, let's get started with the Dark Zones first and the highlights from Dark Zone Vendors, then DC, then New York last. So starting with the Dark Zone Vendors, we do have the Virginian DZ West, then DZ South, we got the Strategic Alignment, which also you can get at the White House as well. And then DZ East, we have the New Reliable, which you can get a much better one from Cassie Mendoza. All right, now for the DZ actual targeted loot. We got Wyvern Wear at DZ West, so you can get the Claws Out holster. Remember the Claws Out holster gives you 500% melee damage and 10% pistol damage. Richter and Kaiser at DZ South, nothing that I can think of that's DZ exclusive. And then Submachine Guns at DZ uh, East, so you can get the Apartment, which I have a build for and I'll show in the card in the top right. I love that gun, it has perfectly measured on it. You can also get the Lady Death and also you can refarm for the chatterbox here as well. The Lady Death usually drops pretty fast in the Dark Zone as well, so if you want to farm for it, you can. Difficulty doesn't matter, it doesn't scale with exotic, so even if you farm it on story mode, you can get a god roll like I've gotten with the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads over here at Manning National Zoo on story. So just go ahead and farm for it here if you want to. And then of course also you can get the Dark Winter with Perfect Killer. Both of those are amazing SMGs, the Dark Winter and the Apartment. I recommend both of those highly. Alright guys, highlights for the north side area of DC. We got Richter and Kaiser at Camp White Oak. We got Rifles at the Amusement Park and Overlord at Manning National Zoo. So of course Overlord, you can get those Foxes per knee pads. You get 8% damage to targets out of cover. Remember, that's multiplicative damage. That's always better than crit hit damage. So I usually recommend running those foxes per knee pads with any DPS build, even if you're not using a rifle. Now, contractor's gloves aren't mandatory usually, but unless you're using an LMG, but those foxes per knee pads with the damage to targets out of cover, if you mix that with damage to targets out of cover on your assault rifle or SMG or something, or LMG, which has those naturally baked into it, that just, it's multiplicative damage stacked on multiplicative damage. So Fox's Purr is always worth hunting for, especially a God Rolled one. And then Rifles at the Amusement Park. So the Exotics is the Diamondback and Merciless. Then you can get the Classic M1A or an M1A CQB, something like that. Those are definitely top tier rifles. The best damage talents on them are usually my favorite, the Boomerang. And then of course the Ranger and then Rifleman. Also, you can get the Baker's Dozen with Perfect Lucky Shot or just the regular Lucky Shot one as well. And then Richter and Kaiser is pretty good for healer builds. Other than that, I usually don't farm for it and I usually want Alps Summit for healer builds. Alright agents, let's get started with the highlights for the west side. We got knee pads at West End and at Lincoln Memorial. So I recommend Lincoln Memorial. It's a really fast mission. Three bosses at the end. I think it's much better than farming any open world area. You know, say you have Providence Defense at Lincoln Memorial, that's just something everyone knows is really good. You could farm there all day. I mean, some people can run this in less than five minutes. Solo, I think, too. I've seen it solo less than, I think it was like three or four minutes with a headshot build with the Regulus. Anyway, you can get the Sawyer's knee pads like on the thumbnail, which I have a build for and I'll put in the top right card right now. And then of course the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads and then the Foxes for knee pads as well. But those two exotics are definitely worth farming for, for sure. We got gloves at Foggy Bottom area. Now, I don't see any black tusk anywhere, just outcasts and cleaners. But the BTSU gloves still drop, and you can get the contractor's gloves as well. And then we got light machine guns at Downtown West. You got the exotics, the Bullet King and Pestilence. And then the named ones like the Carnage, the Slepner, the Good Times, the Perfect Fast Hands, and the New Reliable. Although I recommend just getting the new Reliable from Cassie Mendoza if it's still available. That one is really, really, really well rolled. And then Hani Yu at DCD Headquarters, the Force Multiplier Backpack with Perfect Combined Arms is always worth running on any skill damage build. 
It increases your skill damage all the way up to 30% for like three seconds. As long as you're shooting an NPC or a player, you're constantly getting that 30% skill damage. It's, it's incredibly, incredibly good. I always recommend farming for it and getting it rolled with skill haste and skill damage. And remember, TU11 will make that red mod slot it always drops with, generic. So even if you re-roll it, that recalibration will be refunded to you later or just changed as soon as TU11 comes out. And then chess piece is a title basin for the tardigrade exotic chess piece. And then Walker and Harrison Co. at the West Potomac Park for that perfect headhunter chess piece. And then mask at Constitutional Hall for the Coyotes mask, Vile mask, and of course the Punch Drunk mask with 20% headshot damage baked right into it. And finally, Providence Defense at the Pentagon. The Sacrifice with Perfect Glass Cannon, which I don't really like, honestly. I hate dying so quickly because we already do without it. But a lot of people do still like it and it might be worth it to farm. You want crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and weapon damage rolled on it if possible. And then of course, same with any other Providence defense, you always want that crit hit chance, crit hit damage, and weapon damage rolled on all of them. And if you already have Providence defense, it's always worth farming for better rolls. All right, agents. Now next up, we got the east side highlights. So we got shotguns at District Union Arena. You can farm for the Sweet Dreams Exotic Shotgun. Also, the best top tier shotguns for sure, like the custom M870 and then the Marine Super 90 are definitely worth it. You can get talents like Pummel, Close and Personal, or even Fast Hands on the Marine Super 90 or any of them because shotguns usually reload pretty slowly. All right, next up, we got Assault Rifles at Judiciary Square, so you can get the Exotic Chameleon, which I have a build for, and I'll put it in the card in the top right. Also, you can get the Mechanical Animal with Future Perfection. You can get the Burnout named FAMAS, the Maniac, which is the named Military AKM. And then the top tier Assault Rifles are the Military AKM, which is my favorite. Also, the FAMAS, which is also my second favorite. And then, of course, the G36, Police M4, Carbine 7. P416 variants, those are all top tier for sure. Grupo Sombro for one piece DPS builds, two piece explosive skill damage builds, and then Sokolo Concern if you're running an SMG at all. That's always worth replacing Providence Defense for on an SMG DPS build. And then Submachine Guns at Capitol Building Stronghold if you'd rather farm for the Lady Death, the Chatterbox, the Vector variants, which are top tier SMGs, and the MPXs, the perfect Outsider Talon on the Safety Distance one. I know Rogue Gold has a really good build that's a long range SMG build. It's really nice. I like it and uh, it's worth farming for as well too. So you can farm here at Capitol Building instead of the Dark Zones and also you can farm it on Legendary as well. And then of course Holsters at Southwest. You got the No Hope Hotel XP farm which I'll show that video as well in the top right card. Now remember you can get the uh, not the Claws Out Holster that's a DZ exclusive but you can get the Forge and the imperial dynasty and the forge gives you 50 percent extra shield health to your shield which is an extra skill tier to your shield and then gear sets everything with system corruption which is dz exclusive and then of course the foundry bulwark and future initiative chest and backpack pieces which are raid exclusives all right agents let's go check out what we got in new york city before i let you guys go all right guys well we do got alp summit at the tomb so that's definitely worth it for healer builds now remember that first 20 percent repair skills is always worth it there's also i think a backpack or chest piece that's named i can't think of it comment in the comment section below if you can tell me what that alp summit chest or backpack named piece is it's really good i feel like it has perfect tech support or something on it and then badger tough at the pathway park you can get the zero f's with perfectly unbreakable and then Petrov at Liberty Island, if you want to farm for it, you can get the Contractor's Gloves or you can just farm uh, Gloves targeted loot over there in DC. And then China Light for those explosive skill damage builds. Alright agents, well that was the targeted loot today for September 4th. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoy my content. You can also click the join button below to further support my dream of being a full-time content creator. And check out the Discord and Shadow Crew Clan in the pinned comment section below. Take care agents and be sure to stay tuned for more daily videos and uh, everything on the PTS. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video. Also guys, before I end the video, I did want to give a big shout out and thank you so much for all the support for my channel members, Heaven High, Incognito Cybersecurity, and Silverback. You guys are amazing and thank you so much. I really appreciate it and this really does help so much. So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. And if anyone else wants to help me out even more, 
Remember, you can click the join button below.